Hello everyone, welcome to the newest edition of Team Johnson Outdoors. Kellen and I just got to turkey camp, pup's out hunting right now, he said he's had some action. He came from Minnesota this weekend so we could get our fourth season taken care of here in Wisconsin, so stay tuned. Friday afternoon, it's about quarter to four and I made it all the way from Minnesota and I'm set up already. I left work today around 9 30 10 o'clock drove the five and a half hours out here and uh i'm in the field as, and as a matter of fact i'm in the exact same spot that layton was when she shot her turkey for uh the youth wisconsin hunt and uh if you haven't seen that one there'll be a link in the description anyway um that's kind of where i'm set up right now i'm still kind of debating if i'm gonna go tom or jake I really don't have much time to be picky, but uh, we'll see what happens. Good news is, it's only Friday. Um, I still have Saturday and Sunday, but that would have been a great opportunity right there. Came right across that field, gobbled a couple times. I don't know. Looks like we got some weather rolling in. We had a pretty good rainstorm there, and for as hard as it rained, I stayed pretty dry. Uh, this thing did a pretty good job of keeping the water out. Um, maybe just a little bit coming through the, the holes. But other than that, it stayed pretty dry in here. So I'm not very uh, discouraged of the rain here because it seems like sometimes I see more turkeys after it rains or during the rain in the bed by fields. Kind of hoping this brings out the turkeys. I'm only gonna hunt here for probably another 40 minutes and then head in and see Scott Kellen, have some supper, and uh, come up with a game plan for tomorrow. some action yesterday just couldn't quite close the deal uh, we had some action today and we couldn't quite get it done either we had a hen come from the east and she walked down length of the field and went in the woods and then not too long after that we heard a gobble from that same direction and a tom came across the field and was kind of checking us out and got about halfway across the field and then we think that he saw her in the woods because he kind of ran to the corner 
and then not too long after that, she popped out and was kind of coming towards us, and then he popped out behind her, and then she took off at a full sprint right down the field, and he went just chasing after her. Um, so definitely was chasing that, that hen. Uh, we had a Jake decoy out, but we pulled that as well, um, hoping that maybe that'll help out a little bit, entice that uh, Tom or Jake to come in the next time we see one. So stay tuned. All right, we're out for the afternoon hunt. I'm gonna try a spot we haven't tried before yet. We got permission to hunt with a chunk of woods to the east of where we normally hunt. So I'm gonna go in there and check it out. Heading out on a Saturday afternoon hunt. All right, this looks as good as any other spot, so I'm gonna try to set up right here. Too many mosquitoes. All right, earlier I saw this hen and I lost her. And look at, she's sitting on her nest right here. That's pretty cool. Gonna leave her alone. Good morning, it's Sunday. Pup's right down there across the field from me. And we've already heard some gobbling this morning. some gobbling from the south side of the road and the goblins getting closer you can see pup set up here but then further south from him is Kellen um, so we've got that Tom working this way so we're going to see if we can get him to come to the field and hopefully he'll walk right by Kellen or right by pup flurry of action there but nothing came of it those birds sound like they got pretty close and then they just went silent so hopefully they're just uh, coming in slowly and quietly and they'll poke their head out in the field here at some point it's only about eight o'clock and yesterday we didn't see that one time until about 8 30 so we're uh we're gonna be patient probably stay out here till about 10 10 30 or so so we'll see what happens Most of the gobbling this morning has been from the south or the west, but now I'm hearing some gobbling from the northwest, which is kind of over my right shoulder. Hopefully something's back there that wants to come out and check out the hens in the field. Pup and I are both running a single hen setup. stepped out in the field there for a little bit and now they're back in the woods I can see them through the binoculars they're just on the other side of some down trees and they kind of went out in the little corner there tucked in there and gobbled for 15-20 minutes 
Um, let's give them some calls. They would gobble. All right, those turkeys ended up walking down that far fence line, and I thought they were going to maybe turn and come up behind me to check out my decoy. But they ended up just continuing on north. I would hear them gobble a couple more times, but they just never really quite got it done. We're getting close to final countdown here, and I thought for sure they were gonna, those three were going to come in or at least one break off, but never did. Well, that'll do it for me here in Wisconsin. Time for me to go home. I saw those three this morning, but uh, no luck. Anyway, I'll turn it back over to Scott. See you guys. All right, thanks, pup. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Team Johnson Outdoors. We had a pretty good weekend, even though we didn't get anything. It's always fun to spend time out in the woods. There are still a couple of weeks left in the Wisconsin turkey season, but I don't know if we'll get out. If we do, we'll bring that to you. If not, we'll see you on our next adventure. As always, thanks for watching, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, my teeth.